I'm Ryan Reynolds, and I uh, just dropped in to say wonderful woo fuck act to all you beautiful people. Hi, gang. It's Martin from Ottawa. Just want to wish you all a happy woo act. I'm Elon Musk, and I just dropped in to say wonderful woo fuck act. Greetings. My name is Tess Tickles, and I would just like to wish everyone a very wonderful woo fuck act. Like millions of Canadians, my family is excited. It's a time of year when things slow down a little bit. As we share a glass of good cheer with friends and colleagues, and as we celebrate those unique traditions that reflect Canada's diversity. May all your hams be gas. May all your ham be gas. May all your ham be gas. And please remember, to take down grandma from the roof. Um, don't be like my neighbor, Kevin. Uh, his grandma was on the roof by the time Easter rolled around. So it looks really tacky. So don't be a Kevin, guys. Take down grandma. Bye. Welcome to Wafakak, the winter festival of Unaligned Celebration Advent Calendar. And now your hosts, Reese and Jesse. Hello and welcome to the fourth annual Wafuckak. The winter fourth fe- fucking time. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Sorry, you were about to. The Winter Festival of Underline Celebration Advent Calendar. If you're a new listener, um, this is something we do uh, throughout December. It's 25 daily episodes. Um, and we are doing it again. Now, some episodes are available for free for the public to listen to, others are behind the paywall. Should we this, describe it a little bit better first before we sell it? <laughs> okay, yeah, yeah, go on. Yeah, let's, I was going to add the price first. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> this is how much it costs, and this is what it is. Well, Fuck Act is, uh, it's a celebration that is not Christmas, that is not Hanukkah. It's its own sort of... It's very old. It's, it's very ancient. It, it's not very... At, not at all made up on, no, the, on the fly. Exactly, yeah. And every day has its own celebration, such as boiling a ham until it becomes gas and then inhaling the fumes to get high, or wearing chainmail armor to go to sleep at night, or the night of silence or the night of noise. And we have different nights and different ways of celebrating. And every day, Reese will educate us on uh, what's the theme this year? This year's theme is crazy political parties from around the world. Fucking amazing. So every day, we're going to learn about a new crazy political party from around the world. Some of them are Canadian. Great, which keeping with the theme of our Canadian show. Yeah, that's yeah, exactly. great. So Thank you, Reese, for yeah, doing that this year. You're welcome. That's great. And, so, uh, <laughs> but we did this the first year, and it was just a ridiculous one-off. And Reese just wanted to do something fun and crazy and ridiculous. And I knew right away there's no fucking way our audience is going to let us do this only once. And I was right. They're they're so excited. Now, here's the problem: is that uh, there's a small chunk of our audience who fucking loves what fuck act to the point where they play along and they boil hams and, and some someone even built a website called the what fuck act historical society yes they did <laughs> uh, and the other problem is the other i don't know half three quarters of our audience they can't stand it and our <laughs> and our numbers drop so this year we're doing something different this year we're doing what fuck act every day but um we're going to be releasing regular episodes as well for people who do not want to participate in Wafaka. We've got some great guests coming up. We've got some great episodes. So if you don't want to participate in Wafaka, you want your regular episodes, don't worry, we've got you covered. Your loss. Your loss, we've got you covered. Secondly, uh, it's every, what was it? What did we do? Every third, every fourth? Every third episode was free. Was free. And, and the ones in between were on Patreon. And originally, Patreon in Canada, it was uh, $7.50 to, to join our Patreon, and that includes all kinds of stuff. But this Wafaka season, we are doing something different. We're having a deal for the next three months. Uh, access to our Patreon. We're going to have three different tiers. One, if you just want Wafakak, you can join for $4 Canadian a month. If you want Wafakak and the massive library of original Hours content, and hours, hours and hours. We're not kidding. Many, many, many hours of hilarious and incredible stories. That's just for a Patreon. That's going to be $5 a month. And that's just for the next three months. Uh, and if you want to join our top tier uh, Patreons where you can chat with us on a daily basis in a special special chat room, that one's going to stay at $7.50. Yeah, it's yeah, so just for the next three months, a little promotional material. So $4 for Wafakak, $5 for the back catalog, or seven fifty for Wafakak, the back catalog, and uh, to participate in the chat group that we have 
uh, which which I respond to on a daily basis. He does. Yeah, I said I put posted a picture of Rosie yesterday. On I know. It was, it said dog. Rosie says hi, and people said hi back. It was very cute. Rosie's yeah. his dog. So that's the, that's the pitch. If you want to uh, join along every day uh, for a fuck go to patreon.com slash Canadian politics is boring. I would pause the episode and do it right now. Fuck it. What so, else you got going on? Come on. Thank you for your support, everyone. <laughs> and uh, yeah, so Jesse, we've got to start with the well, fuck act song. Oh, just to let you know, well, fuck acts are supposed to be short episodes. Yeah, they're like, like really 10, 10 minutes, five yeah. minutes. We've already like spent that. five minutes explaining it. Yeah, so. that's why I was bringing it up. <laughs> so, um, uh, so, do ready for a well, fuck act song? As soon as I do my ASMR. Okay. Done. Can I move on? Yes, I cool. sprayed okay. myself Ready? in the face. So, was fun. Th- three, two, one. I forget the words. Do you know the words? We make it up every year. <laughs> <laughs> so, ready? Three, two, one. Sacks of potatoes. Sacks of potatoes. Okay. Yeah. So we'll, once again, sorry. I didn't know. Three, two, one. I thought you were saying saxophone. Yeah. Sacks of potatoes and, and chain, chain mail in, in pairs. In piss? Because he's chainmail in piss. Yeah. There's a reference to the day where you have to. You mean piss in chainmail? Yeah, yeah. You're not dipping chainmail in piss. No, but it's, it's, it's just on it. Oh, chainmail. Trying to make a chain chain trying to make, Yeah, I'm trying to improvise a song and okay. you're really pulling her apart. <laughs> just trying to follow you. I can't even see your mouth. Okay, let's try it again. Let's okay, try it again. Okay. Here we go. You're putting music to this, right? Yeah, yeah. Oh, no. If I can find a track that fits an improvised song, yeah. Okay. Um, right. Three, two, one. Sacks of potatoes and chainmail in piss. <laughs> Ham that is gas. And old ladies on the roof. It's the fourth year of Wafakak, and everything is great. Wafakak is back. I can't wait. There you go. That was really good. Thank you. It's the fourth year. You think we get better at improvising yeah. the song? So, <laughs> so, so this year as well, we have a contest, uh, mm-hmm. and you've got to every day we'll reveal a letter, and you're going to build a sentence with those letters. The first person to work out what the sentence says will uh, will have to then send us a speak pipe saying the sentence, and you will get a limited edition stupid sexy Trudeau mug and t-shirt that you can wear around the house uh, all the fuck act. Or if we get it designed in time, maybe ah. a breakfast with Bernier. Maybe a breakfast with it. <laughs> we'll see what we've got in stock. So, so, so today's, a, la- every, today's every letter. Episode, every episode there'll be a noise. Like, I'm, I suggest a goat noise. The we'll fuck act goat. And then after the we'll fuck act goat noise will be the letter. And uh, you just have to write it down and then you'll have 25 letters to figure out what the fucking sentence is. So today's letter... <laughs> is the letter S. I repeat, today's letter <laughs> is the letter S. Okay. As in Simon, <clears throat> Snake, Sugar, or Slappy. <clears throat> anyway. Slappy. Uh, so, so, Jesse, anyway, uh, last night, <laughs> um, all the people in the farms in the middle of the night filled their sacks of potatoes. Mm-hmm. And then this morning, uh, we all went on the roof and we threw the sacks of potato at people. I know that that's my favorite time. It's, throwing it's, the sack of potatoes at someone is harder than throwing individual potatoes, but especially been, if you can like trying to actually hit them with an entire sack of potatoes. That's it is. today's. Uh, that's today's. No, I don't want to say theme. That's our celebratory mode. Of <laughs> Over thirty people die every year from being crushed by a sack of potatoes. <laughs> Those lucky. But we're not going to change. It's like bullfighting. It's a tradition. What are you going to do? You can't change it. You yeah, can't change it. Late. It doesn't yeah, matter yeah. how horrific it is. To, the next, how upset people are. Yeah. You just. It's a tradition. The next morning, you go outside and find the dead bodies next to the sacks of potatoes. You empty out the potatoes and you put the dead bodies in the potato sacks. Well, exactly. And also as well, we do we, the ham boiling starts now too. It starts now, but we don't inhale for another few days. No, 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 no. It's the, it takes a long time for a solid like ham to become a vapor or a gas. So <laughs> right. So start so your boiling of-, of your hams today, people. Okay, get it. Put it on high, a giant pot. Put it on high, and we're gonna boil that for two, three, four days, something like that. And if you're a Wendigo, then maybe you can find one of the bodies of the people who were killed by potatoes and start boiling a human. Because <laughs> if you're a cannibal, a human is just like ham. Do people 
So anyone listening to this free episode, do you understand now why some people love this and many, many people hate this? I just know, <laughs> they're so used to hard hit in political journalism. Yeah, and now, and now they've just got throwing people, sacks of potatoes and killing them off. The, yeah, People right. making up a shit song. Anyway, we were in two. <laughs> it was a good song. We were in Thank two. Thank you very much. Yeah. So today's episode is all about the Canadian Extreme Wrestling Party. Oh, okay. I'm in already. So, <laughs> in the fall of 1999, a young prof- professional wrestler named Quentin Barboni um, beat out 11 other wrestlers, including Mike the Bulldozer Draw, the Renegade Referee, and Nearly God Norman Tharks in a battle royale to become the first leader of the Canadian Extreme Wrestling Party. That's how they choose their leader. That's amazing. Uh, <laughs> Please tell me they got some seats. The organization formed a national executive and a Canadian Extreme Wrestling Women's Auxiliary known as Miss, uh, Miss Marilyn was the Women's Auxiliary Secretary. The party officials held news conferences with reporters and conducted interviews with the media. The party issued over 30 pages of policy statements in the media. The policy of the party was uh, it's really quite a left-wing party. Um, policies included uh, the issue of overfishing in Canadian waters, regional development, Canada withdrawing from uh, NATO and becoming neutral, and a guaranteed annual income for all Canadians. Wow, that actually sounds... I don't want like, any of really this good. anything has to do with <laughs> nothing to do with wrestling. In the April two thousand by election in the federal riding of St. John's West, Newfoundland, uh Sailor King Moondog White, a former WWF wrestler, stood as an independent candidate for the Canadian Extreme Wrestling Party, and his uh his campaign slogan was Parliament Needs a Moondog. What's a Moondog? That was his name. Sa- oh. <laughs> Sa- Sailor King Moondog White was his wrestling name. That's amazing. Um, and this is this was an interview, one of the quotes of them. I know exactly what they want. Um, they, what, what they don't need is gun control. We need the seal hunt. We should be able to get in our boats any time. We've got the God-given right to go out and get a fish any time we want. When I get to Ottawa, this is, Ottawa, this is what I'm going to be fighting for. I'm going to represent Newfoundland to the best of my ability. I'm going to stand up for Newfoundland, and I'm going to wear the Newfoundland flag. It's just, I should have done it. Wow. I, said, I know exactly what they want. <laughs> They want to just get God control. You that's, gotta do with a Newfie accent. A wrestle, I, a, I a can't do a wrestler and <laughs> gonna stand up for Newfoundland. <laughs> it's, really, it's not Newfoundland, but it's good. It's, it's a, a wrestling, wrestling accent. It's a wrestling interview. <laughs> <laughs> I'm coming to you <laughs> We're coming for you. <laughs> so do um uh yeah. That's it. So that was the end of day one. <laughs> That's amazing. That's I always a forget. Great sh- start. It always feels the, ep- the episodes are meant to be short. So there we go. That, right. was, uh, that, was, that was day one. How do incredible. You, how do you feel about day one? Loved it. Very informative. Very funny. Uh, loved your wrestling voice. I thought that was great. You're welcome. <laughs> <laughs> it sounds like you should be coming out of an arcade box from the 1990s. And it's <laughs> in the corner for more fun. <laughs> That sounded like an old man with no teeth. <laughs> it's, 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 kind of, it's kind of hurting my throat. <laughs> it's I love alternating between British and wrestling. <laughs> <It's like laughs> two, uh, two ends of the cultural spectrum. <laughs> what's uh, what's on the menu for Wafakak tonight? Tonight? Well, get ready. There's no theme for day two. Oh, there's no theme. There's no theme, but it is the night of the Wafakak Gremlin. <laughs> oh. So, uh, yeah. Just, what does the Wafakak Gremlin do? Be fucking careful, everyone. <laughs> What does the fuck that gremlin do? Well, is that is different, but it, it, mainly unstructured terror of various forms. <laughs> so, so a fuck act day two is really about recovery from whatever the fuck act gremlin does. To yeah, you. like cleaning up, painting the walls, filling in holes <laughs> in the wall, that right. kind of stuff. All right, finding well, finding your children. If you want to follow along with a fuck act day two and three, etc., cetera, etc., cetera, and you want to have the full catalog and have all the letters necessary to win the contest of Wafak Ak, uh, please go to patreon.com. Give us a support uh, for, again, it's $4 for just Wafak Ak, uh, $5 for Wafak Ak in the back catalog, and seven fifty for uh, both of those and a special chat. And this is a special we've got just for the next three months. Yay. Yay. Bye. I'm Bye. good at selling. Bye, everyone. Am I good at selling? Just, that was, just, that was okay. Just tell me I'm okay. Pat me on the head. That was good. Tell me I'm pretty. Um, well done, Jesse. Tell me I'm pretty. <laughs> Cool. Wonderful Wufuck Act! I'm Ryan Reynolds, and I uh, just dropped in to say wonderful Wufuck Act to all you beautiful people. Hi, gang. It's Martin from Ottawa. Just want to wish you all a happy Wufuck Act. I'm Elon Musk, and I just dropped in to say wonderful Wufuck Act. Greetings! 
My name is Tess Tickles, and I would just like to wish everyone a very wonderful Wafakak. Like millions of Canadians, my family is excited. It's a time of year when things slow down a little bit. As we share a glass of good cheer with friends and colleagues, and as we celebrate those unique traditions that reflect Canada's diversity. May all your hams be gas. May all your ham be gas. May all your ham be gas. And please remember to take down grandma from the roof. Um, don't be like my neighbor, Kevin. Uh, his grandma was on the roof by the time Easter rolled around. So it looks really tacky. So don't be a Kevin, guys. Take down grandma. Bye. Wish you joy, health, love, and peace. This whole fuck act.